The ocean is basically the life support system for the entire planet. No ocean, no life. The oceans are changing in not very predictable ways. There's so many things we just don't know. The oceans are tremendously important over a wide range of societal issues, energy development, food security, natural resources. In order to be able to forecast our weather or understand how our climate is changing, we need to understand the role that the ocean plays in that. And the better we can understand how these processes work, the better prepared we'll be to understand how and why our weather and climate are changing. The oceans are vital to the future of humanity. We're living in the Anthropocene. According to some researchers, that started in about 1950. The most important aspects that are changing our entire Earth right now are created by humans. So we owe ourselves the understanding of what it is we're doing to the planet. And the ocean has been protecting us from a lot of this for decades, but it can't do it forever. The ocean is not like a laboratory. We have like this black box and you can kind of control everything that goes in and out of it. You have to put your data in context to make sense of it. And that's why you need an observatory. So OOI is a research observatory funded by the National Science Foundation. And our mission is to make sophisticated measurements in difficult locations for a very long period of time. Our role is a facility. We take the data and we make it available to anybody that wants to use it. It allows us not only to look at things like process studies, but also studies related to climate, which require at least 20 years. And we are hoping to run the observatory for 30 years. OI is a really perfect tool for this because it allows us to put monitoring instruments out on the seafloor and leave them there for many years at a time. It's the democratization of data. Our data is available in near real time or real time to everyone. I view the OOI as part of this paradigm shift where we used to go out to sea on ships and do ship surveys for a couple of weeks at a time hoping to capture the process or phenomenon that we originally went out to study. What we're doing now is putting out these amazing arrays that collect sufficient amount of data over a long enough period of time to make sense of what's happening on our planet. We have long time series at fixed locations and then AUVs swimming between those locations, which we then combine with things like satellite data to make sense of weather, ocean currents, surface waves, right down to the bottom of the ocean where we actually are observing things like active volcanoes and hydrothermal vents. Putting any kind of instrumentation, electrical and science instrumentation in the water for a year or more at a time is always a challenge. It's a harsh environment due to the high pressures, the salt water. So just getting systems to operate subsea is, is the largest challenge we face. Well, anything you put out in the ocean has to sustain itself. It's just a really challenging place to work. These buoys are big. They have to float a lot of equipment. They gotta float a lot of brains, you know, computers and different instruments. Our equipment goes through the ringer. But we have to deal with high winds, high seas. We have to deal with freezing conditions. We have to deal with thawing conditions. We have to deal with the cycling of those conditions. What's so great about what OOI is doing is that they're really invested in the engineering side and making sure that these instruments really work out there. For the motion problem, the many millions of cycles, there is a, a rubber band technology we call stretch hoses that allows motion while still maintaining electrical connection. For pressure, we use housings of different types, different styles and sizes and thicknesses, specialized connectors that can work uh, under those pressures. And we're very thankful to being able to make stuff that survives just about any environment. We deliver about 10 to 12 terabytes of data to users every month. And so one question is, how do you access the data? So if you're unfamiliar with us, you can look at all of the parameters, such as temperature, carbon, that we generate, or you can search by region. You can also search for video. OOI is really great at delivering the data, but there's another step, which is quality controlling the data. It is all about building trust in the data and also assuring that 
The science that's being done with the data is based upon true measurements, not erroneous measurements. Having an open source data repository is great because if one researcher comes up with something that is alarming, well, the data is there for any other researcher to go and look at and validate those findings. The value of the real-time data is transparent if you begin to realize that the complexity of what goes on in the ocean involves the interaction between many different processes. So trying to understand what's happening with the environment in the ocean over time only can really be done by these long time series. Because all these data are open to a global community, we have all this ability of people that have new eyes, that look at things in different ways, everything from students to the public to you know, research scientists, and so it entrains a much larger world population that would never get to go to sea before. Well, the way that OOI provides this data, absolutely free of charge, all you need is an internet connection, allows someone, say, in a landlocked state to get to know what oceanography is all about, to get excited about making some contribution. We need to find early and mid-career people who don't know what they can't do, so they're willing to try things. And I think as we move forward, I think what will be increasingly good is as we plan you know, enhancements of the OI or other experiments that we can actually involve young scientists in that planning and that's already happening. From a personal standpoint it's just kind of been a, a lifelong dream of mine to study the deep sea. I really live and breathe science and so any opportunity that I have to get out and participate in acquiring data or deploying instrumentation that's going to acquire data is just really exciting and satisfying. It's a much more open world for young researchers to come in and get access to high quality data. It really does a good job at making data accessible. And I feel like in a very expensive field such as oceanography, that's becoming increasingly important because the more people we allow to look and try to solve these problems and ask questions about the natural world, I think the more viewpoints we're gonna get and the better science we'll do in the future. A lot of younger scientists want to collaborate with other people and, and OOI also gives them that foundational data to be able to collaborate with other scientists within their own institution or with scientists internationally. And so being a part of oceanography really gives me a chance to make an impact on things that will help myself, will help the next generation and the generation after that. Opening up the world to young minds to understand the importance of the ocean in their lives. I think that the OOI is part of a change in how ocean research is conducted. I think we're evolving towards a more egalitarian, community-driven research process where we all have access to data. We have an amazing team here at Woods Hole, also at University of Washington and Oregon State University. And so each one of these members of the team have their own expertise. We really have crossed a new frontier in ocean observation. It's a change in the way we do business. It allows early career scientists the access to state-of-the-art data. It allows scientists well away from the coast access to this type of data. I don't just have a job. I don't just have a career. I think it's a vocation. I think it's important for the stewardship of our planet. I think it's important for the well-being of the people that live on this planet and the well-being of the ecosystems that exist on this planet right now. OI is a force for good. We need these sorts of measurements to understand the ocean, the atmosphere, and the seafloor, and I feel like we're making a difference. It's crucial for us to understand the system upon which we all depend.